Oi, irmão. Sorry. Desculpa para eu... Sorry if I, I took so long to do this. I know you asked like, you know, a week ago or more, but I've been very busy, so. Um, this is for, you know, my opponents got me down. They're my half guard. They've got the underhooks of being a good grappler putting pressure on. I want to free the rappel. And I'm going to, with my hand here, my, I lift. Just here, I'm, I'm getting all the lapel out I can, but they tend to think that it's, I'm doing this to get some pressure off of my throat. So, and they'll have their head usually turned away, so they're not even paying attention. I lift, feed it up, and then I'm gonna bump just to make a little space and, and bring the lapel down. So now I'm pulling down across his chest. I'm gonna switch my half guard, and I'm gonna bump. So he's gonna post out with his hand just naturally or risks getting swept. I reach across, connect my grip for this lapel, and then I, I just pull it in tight, close my elbow on their back, and I'm gonna switch back the other way. And when I do, it's obvious what I'm doing with my hands here, you know, real easy choke. I let off so he don't go to sleep. So he's gonna go to get swept or he's gonna tap. He may tap beforehand. But if he's being a tough guy and he's gonna take the sweep, I wanna make sure I switch my half guard back again as he gets to get swept over, I've got the leg hooked. I can pass to this hand and keep control. This keeps him from being able to roll away from the choke. Because if I don't keep it hooked, go ahead and roll away. He can roll out of the choke. But as long as I keep that leg hooked, I go to the pant grip, there's no escape for him. Okay, I think 